Well, it is roughly 20 degrees here in the wonderful state of Michigan, but as people have asked me for a upgraded, updated bulletproof video, I have Casper back. As you can see, new brakes, new brake lines, all new front suspension, and it drives like a new truck again, which is absolutely fantastic. But that's not why you guys are watching this. You wanna know about bulletproofing. So what I'm gonna do is walk through Casper and point out things that we can do to help bulletproof our 6.5s and make them last a little bit longer, be a little more reliable, dependable, and you can then take that information and do what you want with it. So I'll go ahead and get the hood open the rest of the way and walk you through it. All right, so here's Casper, my 99.65. Almost everybody knows it because it's been around for a very long time. So things that can help with your reliability, dependability, bulletproofing your 6.5. Um, step one, you can do Feed the Beast mod on your fuel filter head. You can kind of see the fittings down below there. Here's the Feed the Beast on the injection pump side for DS4. That's 94 to 2000. As far as my knowledge, they do not make one for a 92, 93. You can get upgraded fittings through either Leroy Diesel or I believe Diesel site sells something, but Leroy has a nice little upgrade for that. Um, another thing is get yourself some AC Doco 60G glow plugs. And that way it is not a hard starting, hateful thing in the cold. Um, 2000 water pump, fan clutch and fan assembly. As you can see here, Casper has all that. Um, and it's had it for almost the last 10 years. Um, dual thermostats are not actually a bulletproofing thing. If you've got a 96 to 2000 and that suits your fancy, then by all means, have at it. Um, I have had great luck with singles and dual thermostats, so I don't feel it's a legitimate necessary need. Um, next up would be turbochargers. So as you can see here, I've got a giant Borg Warner S300 on this right now. It's a 6068 with a .88 housing on it with an HX40 style downpipe. Most cases, an HX35 is more than enough. I'm doing some testing with the, the Borg on this to see how they run. Three inch upper intake manifold. This one's kind of a homemade job. I've got a quad star lower hat here from when I had my intercooler in it. And then I just made my own charge tube over the S300. Go ahead and do your four inch air intake upgrade if that's what you're feeling froggy for. Um, I get a lot of questions. Oh my gosh, why do you have a hot air intake? I've boxed this in before and I run it without a box. And honestly, I saw 10 to 15 degree ambient air temp differences in the, uh, the intake. So I didn't really think that was a necessary evil. I relocate the batteries out of the way and that way you can get this nice free flow. As you can see, the air comes in from behind the headlight turn signal and keeps the filter element cool. Um, other things that you can do, if you look down below, I have a fluid damper on this truck. I know that a lot of guys say that they're expensive and they're not worth it, but honestly, I tow a lot with this and run it as a farm truck and having that fluid deep around there, not having to worry about a harmonic valence for delaminating and the rubber coming apart has been kind of a godsend. Um, another thing, this is the PT Wiring Solutions lift pump harness here and for all 95 and up. Connects right here, goes across, oil pressure sensor, there's your ground on the intake, and then it runs down under the truck to the lift pump. So if I can crawl under here, I'll show you guys. Here's your wiring harness, and there's your beautiful fast lift pump. This has a fast from Quad Star on it. Long ago, it had a Carter for almost six and a half years. So that's something I can definitely recommend as a reliability upgrade, just going to the fast or an air dog or whatever you fancy. Turbo crossover pipes, as you can see, Casper still has a stock charge pipe. I've run this truck with three inch stainless charge pipe. I've run it with a stock charge pipe and I have noticed absolutely zero difference in EGTs and in spool time. So I wouldn't call that a necessary evil. Um, so your main bulletproofing upgrades are going to be your water pump down here, fan, clutch assembly. Get all that from a 2000 and Leroy Diesel actually sells a nice little cooling upgrade package that you can buy everything from. Turbocharger, HX style, HX35 or 40. They're great because, well, you reduce heat. So stock turbos make a lot of heat the harder you drive them. 
put an HX on and they magically get lots cooler, better flowing wheels and a better flowing exhaust housing. So fluid damper, I would suggest that. Do your lift pump upgrade and your lift pump relay harness upgrade and look into getting a full free flowing four inch exhaust because that's something that, yes, it's kind of loud. You can run a muffler, you can do other things. I don't have a muffler on Casper because, well, it's my farm truck, race truck, do everything truck. So that being said, you can kind of pick and choose is what, what you see is important. Um, for a 94 to 2000, a tune is obviously very important. Another thing is you can see here, I don't have a PMD fastened to the side of this injection pump. Here's the harness. I have the PMD relocated inside the bumper right here on a heat sink. So the bumper actually acts as a heat sink and pulls heat out of that little nice aluminum piece and keeps it good and cool for 94 to 2000 trucks. And other than that, there's really not much to do. So number one, do yourself a favor and do your PMD relocation first. Do your lift pump harness relay and possibly lift pump second. Do an exhaust third, get it free flowing. Um, also do the, the starter bracket upgrade on the end that bolts the engine block. You can't see it in Casper because I have all the rubber covers on, but definitely do that. And looking to doing a fuel filter upgrade or feed the beast. And then you can decide. Do you want to tune with a stock turbo with a wicked wheel and a modified upper intake? Or do you want a high flow upper intake and HX? That choice is yours. Um, if you're towing a lot, definitely do an HX turbo with a tune and a lift pump. It will make this truck tow worlds better. So there you go. There's your uh, 6.5 crash course. The last thing I would do is that if it needs head gaskets, do ARP head studs, which I will be putting brand new cylinder heads and gaskets in Casper hopefully in the next month and a half. And I will do an entire series on that. So happy trucking. If you run into questions, comments, complaints, concerns, feel free to message me and I will try to help you best I can. Have fun, everybody.